Hey guys, Timmy here of Arsenal Comics and Games, and I'm going to tell you today about the release of Commandi Challenge Number One by DC Comics out today, the first of 12 issues. So what this comic is is it's Jack Kirby's creation, Commandi. He would have been 100 years old this month of 2017 if he was still with us today. Jack Kirby, the king of comics, the co-creator of pretty much every Marvel movie you've ever loved and adored, and every character you like and He's created tons of DC characters. He truly is the king of comics. And one of his creations for DC was Commandi, the last boy on Earth. A boy that lives in a world, of apocalyptic world, where the Statue of Liberty is in crumbles, and he is the last boy on Earth, and everything else is Planet of the Apes-esque humanoid animal monsters. And it is insane. I love it. Uh, Jack Kirby did about 60-something issues. And they recently, actually last week, just published in a comic, um, the Commandi Special, they called it, where it was like two uh, never-before-printed Commandi comics, which was really cool to read. Um, they just never made it to the, uh, the, fin the, to the finish line for some reason. Uh, I'm sure there's a story of why, but anyway, we're focusing on this. So, why it's called the Commandi Challenge is because back in the, I believe, late 80s was something called the DC Challenge. And the DC Challenge was a 12 issue miniseries that lasted a year. And it was a thing where writers and artists, a different team of writers and artists, would do a comic. And they would set up a story. And by the next issue, a different creative team would have to take over and help write the story and continue it, but with added characters. Uh, once I found, uh, found out what the, um, the comic was uh, when I was about 15, 16, I had to read it. It sounded like the most wonderful concept to me. Um, the store I was working at uh, before owning this shop um, luckily had it in their back issues, so I got to pick it up and read it, and it was a treat. Every DC character ever was somehow thrown in it, and it was a lot of fun. It was really cool seeing how writers and artists could tackle a story when all they're left is with one previous issue before, or you know, however many there was before, and it was up to them to either continue or finish it. And so that's what they're doing with this, but it all stars Kamandi, and each issue is um, a different writer and a different artist, and they're all stellar, stellar talent. Um, and I hold and look at this comic. Uh, I'm very appreciative of how they got the, the Kirby logo right here, or the Kirby, not logo, but the little drawing of him in the circle with the famous Kirby crackle behind him. And if you don't know what the Kirby crackle is, it's um, every time you'd read a Fantastic Four comic or a Silver Surfer comic or whatever comic he was drawing, if it was space or cosmic -y or there was fire or blasts, there's this thing called the Kirby crackle and it's how he would draw that effect. And it's if you Google Kirby crackle, you'll see what I'm talking about and it's just, it's just awesome. And so, there's some Kirby crackle in this book too, thank God. It wouldn't be a Kamandi book without it. But um, this book, when I look at it, I see that and I'm just overjoyed with it, with the King of Comics getting the recognition he deserves. And it's got this beautiful Bruce Tim cover, which is the guy behind Batman the Animated Series. And what's very cool is it's two stories in one comic. One uh, written and drawn by Keith Giffen, who's been a big Kamandi fan for a long, long time. He's done various Kamandi. S. Kirby type uh, projects through the years and it's accompanied by the awesome Scott Koblish who's a pal of the store and in this because the comic has two stories and in this one um, it's well it's this it's the same but two creative teams in this one excuse me um, it's continued on to the next page once Keith Giffen ends in Scott Koblish and um, the next is by the next creative team of Dan Abnett and Dale e uh, Eagles Ham, and e Eagles Ham, um, and so that as much as I love the Keith Giffen art of him emulating Kirby, this is when it switches over to an artist of their own style, and it is just awesome. I mean, look at that; it just it's really killer. And so you have the story of two creative teams continuing the flow and, and having it happen. And really, this comic is you know how like there's music where they call it like that's musicians music like uh this is the type of music that a musician would listen to that kind of like weird somewhat pretentious saying but like it serves its purpose and you understand what it's trying to convey this is kind of like a, a comics fans comic like a comic uh 
lover, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Like this is, if you passionately love comics and you love Jack Kirby, this is the comic for you. And if you just want a fun ride, something to get into that's just a nice plate of talent thrown at you through a year, this is the book for you. I mean, the talent on this book is incredible. There is, in the next issue, Tomasi and Adams, which is gonna be a killer creative team. Um, and through the 12 issues, there's, I believe, a um, Steve Rude issue too, which is gonna be incredible. He's a great Kirby fan, so he's gonna be perfect for Commandi. But um, yeah, and so like there's a mystery element to the story, hence the tagline, can you solve it before they do, they being the writers and artists. And it's a lot of fun. It's the adventures of the last boy on earth. And it might be the last commodity story we ever see. That's what I've heard. If so, they've chose the best way ever to do that. I uh, hope you pick it up this new comic day Wednesday and I wanna hear what you think. Thanks. If you haven't liked our page already, and, or subscribe to it, please feel free to do so. And if you'd like to watch more videos, please do. Thanks, hope you like it.